Hi, my name is Janne Hietamäki and today we are talking about the benefits of having a versatile excavator. So why is it important to equip your excavator with multiple hydraulic attachments? Well, it's a perfect way of increasing the utilization ratio of your excavator and create an excavator to do more jobs than just the one that it's designed for. Well, what are the benefits of having these versatile functions on an excavator? The key is to actually save space at the job site and have just a single machine instead of a fleet of separate machines running at the same time. This all links to your competitiveness since you have one machine that can handle all the jobs that you would need separate machines to do on a job site. So what kind of versatile functions you might want to have on your excavator? They could be AC electricity, magnet power, high pressure water, compressed air, vibration, but we will be talking about them shortly. Let's talk a little about the AC generators. The generator itself actually connects to the main hydraulic system of the excavator and it has a gear motor with a flow control block on top of it so that the frequency of the electricity will remain stable through, uh, throughout the use. It can be installed in a toolbox like this or basically anywhere on the excavator and it provides you electricity for lights, tools, whatever you have needs on the job site. So what's the benefit of having an onboard hydraulic generator? Well, like I said, it's on board. You already have it with you. You don't have to be dragging along a separate diesel powered generator and you have it always at hand when you need it. And also, it's basically maintenance free. What about the magnet power? The key idea in the magnet power is to be able to actually handle magnetic scrap, metals and stuff like that that you might want to be clearing from the ground. There's two ways of doing it. One is to have a magnet generator on top of the machine that actually generates uh, the DC electricity for the magnet. This would be good in a situation where you have one machine using the magnet and other tools. The second one is to have the HMAG unit, which is basically a unit that has the generator in a casing on top of the magnet. This allows the magnet to be used on separate machines since it takes the hydraulic flow from the hammer line of the excavator. Also a perfect option is to have high pressure water on an excavator. What we have here are the installation valves again to the main hydraulics of the excavator and a small, by size, HBW 250 pump, which is 40 liters at 250 bars or eight gallons at 3500 PSI. That gives you the possibility for dust suppression, a high pressure dust suppression system, or washing power. It all can be swapped with the selector valve.
for air driven tools. You can also install a hydraulic compressor on an excavator. There's naturally technologies for more robust like 24 seven use like the uh, screw type HKR compressor or the rotary bain HKL series. For maintenance use, a reciprocating piston compressor is a perfect option. When you face situations where you have hard soil, sticky material, the HBB vibro pump comes in handy. It is actually installed on the bucket cylinder and it creates a reciprocating motion to the cylinder, thus making the bucket vibrate. You can use it to compact our earth, uh, penetrate hard ground, or remove sticky material from the bucket. Even though the bucket vibrates, the bushings and pins stay intact as long as they are well lubricated. What we have as new is the HRBB recycling bucket. It's basically a vacuum bucket for collecting light material from the ground. Let's go and have a look. Hi, when it comes to separating lighter trash from heavier material, it will usually be done manually in order to get a good efficiency with rakes, shovels, brushes, but it will also be very much time consuming and therefore very expensive. But Dynasate has a solution for you, the HRVB Hydraulic Recycling Vacuum Bucket. I am Nicolas de Nonsin, Area Sales Manager for France, Benelux and Africa. And I'm Tobias Schengbo, Area Sales Manager for Germany and Austria. There are several occasions where you need to separate the light waste from the heavy materials. On a demolition site, this can be, for example, textiles, insulation, lightweight clay aggregate or small wood pieces. On a tram or railroad site, you need to often, for example, collect the leaves or the waste that is around it. The same counts for the road site. And also clean up wood and bark chips, for example, on forestry work sites. The HRVB is basically one big vacuum cleaner based on high volume, high velocity airflow. The airflow is created by this area here, which is the air turbine. It's a hydraulically driven air turbine. It's a, it's a big fan, actually. And the airflow created will go through the trash tank, either coming in from the hatch or from the manual hose, will go through the turbine area and out of this exhaust arrangement. The HRVB is meant to be used with excavators and backhoe loaders. Because of its small size, it's only 450 kilograms weight, it can be also used with smaller machinery. It is standardly delivered with a top plate where it can be welded all kinds of quick attachments that is available on the market. If needed, spacers can be added to make it suitable for the specific connection. For basic operation of the HRVB, you need four hydraulic hoses. Two big ones for the fan and two small ones for operating the hatch. You can also use a slewing drive or a tilt rotator with the HRVB to make it more flexible and more easy to collect the waste. The HRVB brings an enormous efficiency to the sorting collection of light waste. Therefore, by the sheer amount of man hours which are saved, you save a lot of money. These were the six pieces of hydraulic equipment to improve your performance. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and share your comments on the comment section. That's it for now. Have a great day.